Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Sitting down. <laughs> it's, it's <laughs> unusual for me. I'm standing, normally standing. Good morning. Welcome to Friday. Friday, 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 Friday. Turn my phone down. I was really here. Back. Backlash. How is everybody this morning? Please chat to me. <laughs> Say hello. Let me know how you are. Um, yeah. I want to know. I want to know. Any questions? Give me a shout. It is super sunny outside. Not. <laughs> it's a teaser sun. It's sunny, but it's cold. It's good old. Uh, Joburg winter day. I see, but the sun is shining. But it's nice that the sun is shining for a change. So we've been having a lot of rain, which is amazing. But yeah, super cold. And with that, obviously, summer is coming. Spring is coming. We're only two weeks away from spring. A week and a half away from spring. Supposed official spring day, September the 1st. So, um, yeah, so in, in, in preparation of that and celebration of that, we're going to, I'm going to do a, just a two, three part series of, um, sugar flowers, which I, I have been wanting to do for a while. So, um, today I'm going to do some roses. Wednesday, I'm going to do some tiger lilies, but I'm making them all in white because obviously I want to airbrush them because I want to test out doing them white and then doing different things. So I'm going to make quite a few different um, sizes and all that kind of thing of different size roses today and possibly different kinds of shapes and all that kind of stuff. Um, Cause you know, you get like a really frilly one and an open one. And so we'll, we'll make one or two different kinds of roses, small ones, big ones, We'll see what we can do within an hour and a half. Um, I don't want the stream today to be for too long because I've got a lot of um, other things I need to do with orders and stuff. So um, definitely, yeah. And it shouldn't take, it shouldn't be that much longer. And then next week I will do a tiger lily, which is one of my favorite flowers. I love tiger lilies. And um, it's the flower I wanted for my grand wedding um if i ever had it and um and then on friday next week because they would have dried nicely then um i'm going to do we're going to try different things with um airbrushing them and seeing if we can get different shades and different patterns and if it really will work nicely and how it will work so and and that i don't really want to rush either so i'd rather have that as a separate stream so um, I'm going to use uh, my, um, my, 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 my flower paste, my flower paste, flower paste is different to gum paste in that um, it's got other ingredients which allows it to dry, um, so almost like rock hard, um, yeah, like it, it, it and also what's in it is also allows it to um, be um, rolled up super super thin so the whole point of obviously doing sugar flowers is to have flowers that look almost well, basically as realistic as possible so i'm going to show you how we how we do this I'm zoomed in but I think um, I need to change the angle of my because I've got it here but I'm actually working a little bit further down and I <laughs> silly working like that so let me just change the angle of my camera I only notice these things when I'm actually looking and talking to you guys and then I realize actually no this is not gonna work That should work. Yes, that's more in the 
in the center. Um, I'm going to leave my camera on, but I'm going to switch my, my logo off so that we've got more. Um, actually, I might, what I might just do is just switch my camera off um, for a bit uh, when we get started, just so that um, we have a nice clean screen. Um, and actually, what I might just do is I might just record it. So I think maybe that's what I'll do. So that I can make um, just like a highlight video or a YouTube short kind of video. So, so what I'm going to do because um, because I'm going to airbrush it, um, I'm making them in white. So these are all going to be white. Even the tiger lilies are going to be white. Because if you look at um, like you get that, that that beautiful pink and white tiger lily it's white and then the, it's pink and then it sprays out white i think it is um so we are we're going we're, go, we're going to go with 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 white and then we're gonna and then we'll spray the colors Okay, let me, I'm going to switch my, my camera off so you don't can see my face. You don't need to see my face, but you can hear me. Um, da, 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 da. There we go. It's just so that you can get a nice full screen of what's going on instead of having things in the way. Um, I'm just going to record this, so I'm going to start recording. Because, yeah, this will actually, I think, will be quite nice to record. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to, we're going to roll this out as thinly as we can. And I've got, so we're going to use cutters, obviously. But we've got various different sizes and depending on the size. So like that will give me a small rose. Well, I have like a miniature rose, a small rose. Then I do um, a medium sized rose, which is that one, a combination of those two. And then a large, which is a combination of that. And then we have like an extra large, which is a combination of these. So yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna use all of these different um the, all these different I'm actually missing one. I don't know where it is. I'm actually missing two, I think. One that goes in there and then one bigger one. I'm not sure where it is, but it's not gonna be a train smash. So add them all together. I think it was when my child <laughs> my child um so obviously we don't want the the um the uh, i use an egg box to hold everything in and it works really well oh what am i doing it's not where we start <laughs> it's not where we start let's start from the beginning from the beginning is where we use We'll use florist wire and I have green but you can get normal florist wire and then you can tape it with green tape and then I always use the green tape anyway if I'm doing like a a, a, a um, flower arrangement of sugar flowers and then I, I, I spray then I, I tape them all together so we, what we're going to start off with is that we're going to just make um, some small stems to start off with one might actually be a little too thick but anyway this will work um i have a different size but it's in my cupboard we're just gonna um cut some stems Okay. 
And these ones are quite thick um, because I use them for um, my figurines, the center of the body, so that it um, holds bodies of you know, the body of the figurine quite well. So I'm, not, I'm probably not going to make all of these, but I just want to cut just in case we do, because I wanted to try and do varying sizes. So probably what I'll do is I'll probably end up making whatever whatever I cut here. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to start out. We're just going to. So we'll start. We'll, we'll go from, we'll try and make, you know, small, medium, we'll go like that. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to, I don't know where that all came from. Um, we're going to make a little ball and then we're going to roll it into a, a little teardrop. And then, where is my glue? and obviously because we're working with white we need to make sure that everything's nice and clean we don't want to taint it not that the roses are going to be white in the end they will be a different color but obviously you just don't want weird and wonderful markings happening so i'm just going to dip i'm just going to dip the end of it inside here and we're going to So this is the the, the 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 starting point of of your rose. We're gonna just make a nice little teardrop, and then you're gonna make a whole bunch of those so that it can just dry just a little bit, and you can see I'm putting it on there. So we're gonna do a whole bunch like that. So we'll do them with all of these, but um, yeah, that's just our starting point. And you can make really small ones or, you know, big ones. So sometimes what you can do is you can make a whole bunch of these and just let them dry. And then when you're ready to make your roses, they're ready to go. And then you can just, you know, wrap around. Oh, would have been good if I stuck that one in the glue and I didn't. I really do love making sugar flowers. There's there's such an art to it, and it's 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 really um it's really fun being able to make something that looks pretty realistic. I'm 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 I'm, I'm better at making flowers look realistic than I am at making figures and humans. You know, my figurines are very much um. You know, uh, stylized and 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 character caricatures rather than realistic, but um, well, you know, representative. Whereas uh, I, I can, I think I'm better at making the flowers. Um, let's make one more small one and then we'll move on to a little bit bigger and when you put um, this wire in like that you'll twist it in you won't just shove it in you actually twist it in there so that it's it goes in nicely and smoothly and not, you know, 
like a bull in a china shop. <laughs> How many more do we have? So let's do, say, you know, um, if you look at uh, petals in, in nature, everything is in threes. It's in odd numbers. So threes, fives, sevens. So we'll even work our petals that way. Um, but um, what I might just do is do two, two more. Uh, you know, like two medium, let's see, maybe three um, medium ones and uh, two large, two large and uh, more, maybe three large ones. And then I don't know, I might not use those. So let's see. Because you get, you get the very full, um, like tea row, hybrid tea kind of um, rows. You get, um, you get the, the one that just opens up like an iceberg and you get these small little ones with the miniature roses so you get very different you know a multitude of different kinds of looking roses and honestly the best best way to to, to make sure you know to, to learn from it is actually to have an actual rose and um, you know, use that as a guide to making sure that you get it right Red. These kind of can be pretty much the same size as a starting point and then um, you know the rows will grow from here. So basically what does it what these are for that's why I say you make them and let them sit and dry a bit is that you're actually going to um, move your petals and um, glue your petals around it so In the end, your, your stem might come out and you can use it, but um, you know, I'm just using small stems to work with, um, or not, you know, you don't have to, but it's just easier. You'll see now why you're doing it in this shape.
Okay, so I, I've got a whole bunch now. Okay, I'm just gonna put them on the side. Okay, so we'll start out with um, one or two small ones. We'll move on to some medium ones. Uh, what you can do is if you are making a whole bunch of roses, you can you can do all your 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 cuttings, and then um, you uh, have a like a piece of two sheets of cling wrap, and you can hold your your petals in between that, and that just keeps them um, soft until you can use them without drying. <laughs> but I'm not going to do that. Okay, so we're going to start off with the small, the small cutter, and we're going to start off with five. So I'm only going to do one rose at a time because um, obviously I'm not wanting my <laughs> my 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 my, pa my sugar paste to to you know dry out. I'll keep it in the cling wrap. In between. So this is a lovely thing that I use. And um, it allows you to um, um, uh, what I might actually do is I'm not going to um, let's see. So this, this little blue thing is awesome because it allows you to actually um, wrap your, your petals and, and it doesn't stick. So the whole point is to have that bit thicker and then this bit thinner um, so that it's nice and thin and then it starts to go frilly. So it's mainly your outsides that you will rub gently with one of these tools, this ball tool tool. So that part there will be thicker and this part here will be thinner. So you'll do that with all of them and then it actually almost gives you that frilly look to your petal. So I like using the bigger ball because that um, works well have an, a, bit, a much bigger ball but also bearing in mind that when you do this this doing what we're doing now will increase the size of your petal so sometimes you can actually make um, a, a small um, rose out of the same petal just by um, rubbing it more and you actually kind of make your petal a little bit bigger and again, like always in nature, nature is not perfect. It's perfect in itself. Um, so each petal will be different. As you can see, they're looking different already. But it's what creates character. And makes them individual. Because no two flowers are the same. No two human beings are the same. Not even twins. So... And that's the whole point um, is doing stuff like this to have stuff that's unique. So this won't, we, we're not going to keep to this shape. It's just there as a guide and to help you cut. You know, you can see it's already changed. It's not exact anymore. place it's a bit wet and this is like a sponge it's quite it's quite nice and it's nice and soft so it will um so you won't tear anything you can also um instead of doing what i'm doing you can actually use it with you know dirt with your fingers um, I, I tend to do that more with 
the bigger ones with my fingers. So what we're going to do is we're going to take one of our, our center buds and we're going to start wrapping our petals around. So you're just going to put a little bit of um, glue on the on the on the in the V, and then you're going to wrap it. So this is this teardrop is going to form the shape of your rose, but your rose always starts out with quite a few little petals in the center. So that's why we start off with five, and then we're going to wrap it around like that. So I'm I'm using the the this side that's been facing down because that side's still a little wet, whereas the side's already started to dry. So it just helps with putting it together, and it'll also help with the shape because you've um, made like a shape from the outside. So this will help with the shape going on the inside. So you're going to overlap it. So you're not going to go exactly on the same spot again. You're going, you're going to do like an overlap so that where your join is here is now going to go in the center of this petal. We're going to wrap it around. Um. Oh. Sorry, I'm feeling like because this is white, you're not able to see much. Um. Bring the brightness down. I'm going to change. Oh, there we go. So that you can see more of because it's white, it's getting blown out. That's better. I'm gonna it's gonna look a little bit dark in the wrong color but I just want you to see the definition more than anything else so let's do it like that there we go so you can see better okay and we're just going to continue to do that all the way around Always on an overlap so that the join is in the center of the next petal. I mean, I'm, I, I may or may not do all of these. Uh, we'll do as many as we can in an hour and a half. So by 11. So you can see how it's starting to take shape. And a rose, especially like a hybrid tea, Always starts out with a small, small bud to then open up. And some of them do that for a lot and then only open up. 
I'm gonna put that one. So I, I like to do my my roses in, in stages. So like I've done all the buds and then I'll start doing this next stage with all of them and then slowly build them up. You don't do one rose in one shot. <laughs> Like I don't do my figurine in one shot either because I just they 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 come out better when you give them time to dry slightly before doing the next thing and it's not just all on top of each other and and then it's uh, they, they land up being heavy and then it squashes and all that kind of stuff and that's not what we're looking for we we want these to Especially with the flowers, we want them to look as pretty and as beautiful as they can be. So basically we just do five petals at a time every time, even when we start getting bigger and bigger. You can also you can you can also just take it and squeeze the ends like that if you don't have these tools. But it, the whole point is to have just that bit, the round part of your petal, um, thinned out. So you can't actually do what I'm doing with gun paste. I mean with fondant. It will just tear. You've got to be using flour paste or gun paste. And preferably flour paste. Because you want it nice and thin. This won't work with normal fondant. It will just tear and you, you know, you'll land up. The only way you'll be able to do it is with uh, making them quite thick. And the whole point of roses and petals and stuff they they're super thin um, and that's why it's a different a different uh uh sugar paste or flour paste or you know whatever you want to call it different fondant it's not fondant <laughs> that's the thing it's not fondant And you can make each one different. You can make one, you know, more tight than the other. They don't have to be all exactly the same.
so you can make them more open, more closed. But I just want to move to them more in, in this direction. So I put it on the one side again. See the join is going to match up in the center of the next petal. And I stick it on there and then I push it round. To then form that. And I don't, I put, I put the glue on the petal there because then it's enough and it's only a very little. But if I keep putting it on the base of the actual um, rose, then, then my hands will start to get sticky because I'm touching the glue all the time and I don't want to do that. So the idea is that when we do the 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 airbrushing is is that we're going to try and airbrush like dark in the center and then slowly move out and get it lighter and lighter and you know see if we can get it to look like a a real so at the moment i'm not going to fiddle with the the petals to pull them out or anything like that because i want it like a bud and if you're doing a spray of flowers, you'll have a few like this. And then you can also do bud. So you can also do buds like this, um, like this one. And then you leave it like this, and all you do is put the leaves over so that it's a closed bud with the green leaves on it. <coughs> um yeah. And then uh, and obviously always keeping your hands with the you know vegetable fats on your on your do not get it sticky just helps So, like the medium ones, then the, all the small ones, they're only going to have basically that one little bud and then one more um, flower, uh, probably one more row of, of petals, which again, we're doing them in fives, so, but then the bigger ones, you will build it up more and more and more. And again, it all depends on what kind of rows you're making. If it's a hybrid or it's an iceberg. Um, what I might just do is do an iceberg, one or two icebergs as well, because that is, they're different, they're not closed up. Okay, um, I think I'm going to make those small and then I'm going to go the next um, three will be medium so so the two will be small then then the next three are medium let's just say the next three here are medium these three will be medium and then we'll do um, some larges and some And by all means, obviously, if you're going to do a red rose or <clears throat> you don't have to 
I, I want to play with my my um my airbrush is why I'm making them white. But ordinarily I would probably if I was gonna make a pink rose I would make it I would make pink and then I always I love dusting them um with this beautiful shimmer and, and just it just livens them up. such a difference when you put that sh those different shimmers on and also if you can you know make it have it's like a double delight that's white with you know pink edges on it that kind of thing So why I say make these buds first is because if they're nice and hard, they're so much easier to to it's so much easier to then try and wrap the um, uh, petals around because when it's when they're still soft, then you can't actually apply pressure too much because then you're going to squash your bud. And you can see by by having the the bud as well it's, it's creating this bottom um bottom bell part of of like a hybrid uh, tea rose those nice full roses And you'll see as you wrap them around, they'll start to create their own natural flow. Like real petals. Because also it will depend on how much you've, you've thinned out the petals so I mean this one's doing its own thing already because of the way I've um, thinned out the edge So you'll have rolled this out as thin as you can go as well and you can see that it's slowly you can see um, you can see my the stripes underneath there that's how thin it is 
I'm just going to do 10 so that I can do these two at the same time. Maybe for, for time's sake, I'll um, just do, I'll finish up these three, but then I'll do a, a large and an extra large. And then obviously an extra small, it's a very much smaller, tiny little rose. And you, you, you need to work with this when, when your petals are soft, because if you don't, they're obviously going to crack and break, and then you're not going to get, and you won't be able, to, they, they won't be um, pliable, you know, or elastic enough for you to, to reshape them and do things with them. You can see by just rubbing the edges out, it kind of they look more like a pebble than just this random teardrop shape. But they are when you first cut them. You can see as you do it, they start to curl up, and they really do take an effect. They start; they become petals, like real petals, when you do this. And you'll see it more when you start when 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 you start doing the bigger petals. You forgot about that.
Yeah. It's too cold. I have to keep stirring it, and obviously I can't do that right now. <laughs> it's gone hard again. How pretty is that? So you can actually just do that as it's on its own, you know, if you're doing a spray. So you start out with bud, then one of these, and then you, you grow it. And obviously you put petals around it. I mean, leaves. <laughs> on the edge of it. Um, I'm not doing leaves today. Um, because I want to spray the, fly, the roses, so that's not going to work. What I might do is just do um, leaves once I've sprayed them. So that we can finish them off. Because, yeah, I, I, uh, I don't think um, spraying them with the leaves is going to work. The leaves are going to get sprayed. And, yeah, I'd rather, I'd rather spray them, allow them to dry, and then I'll add the leaves afterwards. And then, but then I will add, then I will have um, actually um, colored the, 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 the sugar paste rather than spraying it. Because I don't need the, fl the the leaves to be all you know sparkly and stuff. We just need the we want the petals to be sparkly and stuff and 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 stuff. <laughs> I'm just thinking of my husband always saying what stuff you keep saying and stuff. <laughs> it's just the uh, yeah. What I'm gonna say apparently like uh. Like, how many times do I say, uh, <laughs> in the recordings that I started doing last year, we were going to have an, an uh counter <laughs> for the amount of time that I went, uh, and, um. <laughs> okay. So those are our small and medium. So... <coughs> I'm going to move on to a large, but um, kind of okay. I'm going to do. I'm I'm just going to do one of each four times, you know, because of time. And then um, so that one will be our extra large, and that will be our large. So I'm going to use a different size um, pickle these two because we want them bigger so instead of using this size I'm going to use the next size up again you're going to stick to the five oh sorry you can hear my dog apparently I think <laughs> I'm pretty sure you can hear my dog barking and barking and barking <coughs> just excuse that I'm gonna watch it barking someone passing we live on the corner of the road so people pass us
My throat is scratchy from all the talking. I've been doing a lot of recording at the moment. <laughs> a lot of recording and a lot of talking. So, <clears throat> um, yeah. <laughs> My throat is feeling like it's taking strain. So forgive me if I don't talk too much. Um. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, so because oh, well, not yet, because I don't want this one to be too big. So I don't want these to to spray out too much because um, it's the inside. So I'm not going to use the big one. I do have a, a bigger. You see, much much bigger. And these are fantastic. They come up different sizes. But as they get bigger, I will use the bigger the bigger one. So I just, the, the reason why I keep picking them up is because the more I do this, because they're still quite wet, I don't want it to, um, to stick to this net here. I just picked them up a bit. just watching the time as well because um uh <laughs> my i have an angora bunny and she's in desperate need of a shave and the lady um that shaves her is coming just now so i just need to keep an eye out for her and she will um <clears throat> i'll have to hop out getting the bunny yeah. so that she can take her and shave her. Hello. Why don't I see the chat in my phone? It is annoying. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> Hello, my husband, watching from the study. Remember, you, you're making the round edge, just so you, you're aware of what you're doing. You're making the round edge of the petal thinner, not the, the, the triangular part, not, not the pointy part. It's the round edge, the round part that you're making thinner. The pointy part is what you're going to put at um, the base of your bud. So medium so obviously this this bud is small compared to the petal but that's fine we're just going to keep wrapping it around until it goes all the way around you want it to go like that
Just um, make sure that your 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 flower glue is going all up on the edges. Try not to get it on your fingers because to try and and work with it when your fingers now start getting wet is just yeah it doesn't work and then things start sticking and. So at the moment we're still making a bud out of our um, our rose start of it so we will keep it tight and small like this so two more on this one So with the large and the extra large one, we're probably going to do this, this bud, another layer of this bud before we start opening it up. So we're gonna pop those on the on the side and then I'm gonna do the I'm gonna do this go back to the small ones. So our small ones have had a little bit of time to dry. So they're not you can see they little they've got they're not totally soft anymore. So we can make go from there. So because it's only a small row, we're only gonna do one more row, either five or seven. But then we're going to use that size. So it was one size up from that one. Yeah, I think it's one size up. Might be two sizes up actually. <coughs> I'm sure I've got all of my, my pieces here, but I feel like something's missing. I feel like that, that's not my complete set. I don't know where the pieces are. Um, my daughter uses them 
was making some stuff the other day with, with them. So they're around. We put them back. But we'll make do with what we've got. So I'm actually just going to now, at this point, I'm going to actually just do one rose at a time. Okay. So we're going to do five, because that should work out. I might land up doing seven. Maybe let's just do seven. And then if we don't need it, we don't need it. Can use, we can use, I'll use it on the other rows. <coughs> So, same, same thing. There's, there's no change in what we're doing. We're still doing it. Here we are. Smoothing out the ends. But because now, it, so we're working with a smaller row, so it's going to kind of um, open up a little quicker because it's a smaller row. I think seven is going to work because we'll start out. We'll do if one or two, like two, where it's still quite tight, and then start to open them up, open it up a bit. Dream beats <laughs> today. It's very punk rock going on here instead of um, soothing. <laughs> I feel like it needs to be more soothing. <laughs> and the rock music that is playing. Very extra. I honestly just want to change my music here. Oh! And I go again. Arabella, <laughs> what are you doing today? Sorry, the music's feeling a bit rough for what I'm doing. <laughs> okay. Anyway, right. So we're gonna use the one and <laughs> Okay, this feels better. <laughs> feeling a bit like wah. <laughs> so we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna carry on keeping it a bit tight in the beginning and then <laughs> With the bigger petal and then we're going to start to move them out so you see they'll start to take shape on their own and they'll start actually opening up on their own
it's almost like a natural progression what it'll do and that's purely because we we literally going from a, a, a bigger petal to a smaller from a smaller petal to a bigger petal so again so now what we're going to do is we're going to plant the base of this one in the center of the previous one and then we're going to go around so they're always overlapping Just make sure at the bottom that it's it's closed up and that they they're hanging on to your stem. Okay, so from here we're going to start opening up where we you know, we'll start to open up now. So again, still from the same place in the center of the previous petal to start opening it up a bit and then we'll start to play with the petals itself we can play with the, 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 the previous ones as well a little bit not too much just be gentle with our roses now because if you want to keep them starting to open up they need um you know you can't just lie them flat i find squeezing it a little bit at the bottom here kind of just like makes it form something at the you know where they do it at the the top to, to open up more okay, I'm just gonna... I need to put this down while I work with it so I'm just gonna put it on the um, on my egg box eggs boxes for flowers and leaves and all that st um, stuff <laughs> all that kind of thing is um, really really awesome it works So because this is a small rose, it's not really going to open up much more than this. And then we've got one more petal. So seven actually worked really well. You can see it almost feels like it needs that extra petal over there. And you just need to gently stick it down. Don't be too rough with them. They are delicate. And you can give them shape. So that's our small rose. It's not gonna it's not gonna open up much more than that because it's a small rose. We're looking at this is this is basically what we want is to make it those miniature roses. that's what we are after is that miniature rose look okay so let's do the uh, other one just want to move that over so we've got space although my phone is dying i use my phone to check on the chat <laughs> although that's not really working <laughs> um I just want to check if <laughs> but I just wanted to check to see if um, the lady coming to shave my bonnie 
she might have sent a message to say she's here. I should hear her. Okay, so we're going with seven, right? One. Can we squeeze the seven one in? Yes. Seven. Right, our next, our next small rose, our last small rose. lilies you can create this beautiful spray of, of flowers for spring day oh. and, and 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 make no mistake if you're using sugar paste to do this um, when these are dry, if you drop them on the floor, they will shatter like glass. <laughs> they will shatter. So it's always a good idea if you are making, you know, uh, if, you, if you're doing like a spray of roses and stuff like that, it's always good, best to you know, just make a few extra in case they do shatter. Okay, so we're going 
Okay, and then we'll open this up a bit. If you want an in-person lesson, um, get a hold of Judy, Judy's Cake Studio. She's doing um, a sugar, sugar um, flour course. Um, she's in Claremont. She does really some really beautiful stuff. She's doing in-person classes. Um, now I think in September, end of August, uh, sometime in September. Uh, just yeah, over to Judy's Cake Studio. One of these days I will go and um, do some more lessons with her. Not <laughs> That she taught me how to do roses. My mother taught me how to do roses. <laughs> um, okay, so there's our other small rose. So we've got two, two small roses. Where are we going? There we go. Two small roses. Just give me two seconds. to our medium size sorry medium size rose oh we've been around all over the place yesterday um okay. okay right so we're going to move on to our medium our medium size rose hold on so extra large mice up there. I've got them in order. <laughs> so we've got a medium and a large, I mean our extra a large and our extra large and our medium and our medium rows. I don't know if you can see it. I feel like I've got too many things around here. Okay. So we've got our medium rows and our large and our extra large. So that's how we're gonna go. Let's do our medium. So our medium is gonna have a few more petals and same with the large they're just going to land up so we're going to do an extra round of, of petals with our medium and then what and then our last round will be for for it to start opening up so and we'll complete the medium one now with the petals you see um just this base part, this base part, I feel like needs to be a little hard before you can actually, but then once your petals, you know, start getting to the point where you're wanting to open them up, um, then 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 you, you can just do the whole rows um, because you kind of want to get the, um, the flowers, the petals to flow in the way that you want them to flow. And you can only do that when they're all soft. Okay, so because we're on the medium rows, we're going to move up. Uh, we're going to move. I'm sure I'm missing one in between these two. Um, we're going to do five, and then we're going to do seven. So we're going to do five because we're still going to we're going to keep it quite tight. So I'm just going to do the five first because um, I just don't want the petals cracking while waiting. Right. Same old, same old with them. Um, you know, 
where you rub the edges. Sometimes that happens. Just put a little bit of um, where your, your ball tool kind of sticks to it. You just put a little bit of, rub a little bit of um, vegetable fat on it so that it doesn't stick like that. So, you're going to do a medium. So, as usual, allow it to overlap. So, um, our medium one, we're going to, to um, have it clo still closed up a bit. And then our next row will start to... Um, open up more. And then what we'll do is the next one, the next row will um, see and again you, you can see it as it will start to naturally to start opening. Need seven, not five. Not two, not two. Okay,
Oh, I only needed two here. <laughs> I only need two. The other, so we're going to go the next size up um, on the medium roses for the last row, which will be that one. You'll just have to excuse me for two seconds while I let the lady that's shaving my bunny in. Let's do the last petal and then I'll, I'll be back now now with um, doing the final row of this. This petal of the medium. She's here. Okay. It's not here, so Okay, next one. She, should, she said she should be here around about 11. She's normally on time. There's balls, I think, in the... When you wear dark clothes, you get fluffy. <laughs> Always advisable not to be wearing dark clothes when doing this kind of thing. Okay, so we're going to go with seven of the bigger size. Two, three, four, six, seven. Seven of the Yeah. Okay. I'm just trying to keep sweetie this side. So I'm going to use the bigger because it's bigger. Oh, okay. No, let's just use that one. No. I'm gonna hold sweetie and then you drag this button. Yeah. 
It's um, what's it? Uh, she's got a boarding section for bunnies that are going to new homes. So if we want, bunny can go home with her and stay with her until they find her a home. Santa's got like five bunnies of her own.
Now you're grating them? Huh? You slice? Oh, slicing. She should be at ease. She should be nice. She must be outside or something. Large rose, and then an extra large rose, and then we <laughs> They might just do some different size roses. Well, actually, I mean the the. What's the deal? 
see that. I'm actually, uh, I actually want to be on stream for a long time. That's dark chocolate. <laughs> going to move on to large so we're going to do another round of these and then um we're going to do another round of that one on the large we're going to move up to that one and then we're going to move up to that one so because it's large we want to um uh Again, we're going to keep it as tight as possible in, in, in this one before we, we move on. Um, I think we're moving on to seven now, definitely. So we're going to do seven, one, two, three, seven, six, seven. Lots of other orders and goodies to do. We had a few disruptions. <laughs> so I'm just going to use my fingers for these ones. All I'm doing is squeezing the the ends. It also, if you even if you use your fingers, it actually kind of um, gives you this um, lovely shape to your petal, like almost like a natural looking shape. So you don't have to use the balls. Just make sure that your fingers are um, you you've got uh, some uh, wholesome on your fingers so that it doesn't stick. You can see how the the, the um, <laughs> an egg box does come in handy. So this is our large rose we're going to do one more round i want to kind of keep it as tight like that as possible um on this one
So you can see with this one, I'm creating like this um, bell at the bottom. And it's because of that bell formation at the bottom, which will then have help the, the, the natural progression of your rows to open up even. And even this, just like that, is pretty. Um, again, you'd use it as a as like a bud. You can see the bell now, that bell at bottom is actually helping it to open up naturally. one of that so from the next one we're going to start opening it up so we just want to kind of you know just uh, just touch the ends and it will um, bend the petals a bit that it looks so pretty just like that looks pretty okay so we're going to move on to our next um cutter size again we're going to stick with seven I'm going to use my fingers, the bigger they get.
need to actually move over. Over here. <laughs> I don't ever realize that I'm actually not on camera because I'm like moved over. So always start always put your point at the base of your of your rows so always make sure that the point the base of your point is there so always gonna that's always your starting point that your point is there and then you um you're down as well so that they all meet down here nicely at the bottom Keep it neat and tidy there and tight. And put a little bit of glue there so that they kind of stick together. So that will always be your starting point is there at the bottom. following the bell as well and you can see it's starting to open up all by itself
last petal and then we're going to go one more size up and then that will be our large rows shaping the petals a bit give them a bit of a bend in them some of them because I looked at a rose petal that's what it does okay so that's our large rose we've got one more I have to go up, which is that one. So you could use just that as a medium rose. It depends on the, the style and shape of your rose that you're wanting. So now we're going to use the bigger one. Again, we're going to do seven. And again, I'm just going to use my fingers to thin it out. Um, I just feel like that's a little bit quicker. also by doing, doing it by your fingers you can see you're gonna get this like frilly kind of you'll, you'll get the frilly sort of frilly look with the with using the, your ball tool as well I'm actually going to stop after this one because pretty much this is how it goes with each one of them um, and obviously I don't feel like um, <laughs> there's uh, quality in repetitive <laughs> in repeating and repeating and repeating so <clears throat> I just want to finish this one up and then yeah the large will be exactly the same it'll just get even bigger that's the only difference so you can see actually roses are fairly easy to make they're just a little time consuming and depending on the size you know and style <coughs> So I'm going to make like a little bed as well for, for this one so that it's so you I use the the, the, the egg box and some uh, roller towel to 
the roller towel just allow it does it doesn't stick to the roller towel and it just lets it settle softly and then you can also use the roller towel for it to um to shape it a bit So our petals I'm just going to create like a little bed here for for the rose so that it can sit nicely um, while we work with it and then obviously so that it can dry take our petal we're going to do exactly what we've been doing the whole time and now we're going to just so i'm going to just put these petals on and then once we've got the petals on we're gonna open them up and give them shape and stuff it's just because it's i don't actually want to put it back down again and um, because yeah the more i touch it I'm just going to keep putting petals on. So the petals are soft enough. And obviously for me to reshape and open up and stuff like that. So that's why I just want to get them on. And then we can go from there. And again, keep into the bell bottom And obviously you can do a, a, a fuller closed rose or an open rose yeah. again you can just do different shapes but the base of it is basically the same that's our last petal okay we're just going to i'm just going to make sure it's all nice here at the bottom extra and then we're going to pop it in like this it's a bit long i'm just going to shorten that I'm going to just open up all my petals using and you can curl petals round you can have all sorts of different kinds of shapes and use your 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 um shapes not shapes um you know what I mean <laughs> whether you want it to open up more or or not and then if you just use your your your, your roller towel to I'll put it along. Yeah. To let it sit in, 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 in the way that you want it to, to sit. Um, I kind of want this to open up a little bit more. So I'm just going to... Thank you. 
that so that I can get it too. So what I want actually is these these bottom petals to um, be more open and wider and almost like hollowed out. I'm just going to push down in the, in the sides like that to see how it's And you can pinch the side. Obviously, if I leave it, they're going to curl under, and I don't really want to have to curl under like that. So I'm just going to pop some paper towel so that they don't curl under. Okay, guys, too much is going on in my house right now, so I need to actually stop. Um, but that's my big rose, my big, beautiful rose. Look at that. I will take a photo of them in the white like this, and then, um, you know, you have uh, they'll be nice and dry for next week. I'm going to do a few more um, when I have some time. I'll do, do the extra ones for next week, Friday. But in the meantime, 
have a fantastic weekend and um, catch us live tonight uh, on Twitch. Uh, we are making Indian food tonight um, on Swiggity Sweetie. Uh, we'll see you. <laughs> I'll see you on Wednesday. Have a fantastic weekend. <laughs>